Hey, hey, y'all ready to go on a ride? Yeah! yeah. Strap in those seatbelts, here we go. I'm gonna dress the elephant in the room, we're all thinking it, I'll be brave enough to say it. I'm sick and tired of these foreigners coming to America and taking all of our jobs. Yeah! Yeah, the welders are along for the ride. Appreciate you, brothers. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? I'm talking about those Brits coming over and snapping up all our superhero roles, right? Batman British, Superman British, Spider-Man British, what the fuck? How'd we lose all these roles? Was there an actor Brexit going on across the pond? Oi, exchange rate's not in a favor anymore. We need to do Disney. We need to do DC and Marvel. It's truth, justice, and the American way. Get the fuck out of here. We don't need you. It's not just superheroes. It's not just the Brits. Other Europeans are stealing classic American hero roles. Let me give you an example. Steven Spielberg made a film called Lincoln about American President Abraham Lincoln, right? Who, who was cast as Lincoln? Daniel Day fucking Lewis. An Irishman. An Irishman. Why? There's, there's no actor here in the States that could play... I could walk down Peachtree and fight five guys that look like Abraham Lincoln today. <laughs> With more teeth than the British. I can't believe it. Why Daniel Day Lewis? Why an Irishman? Just because you know a thing or two about civil wars, I suppose? No, get out of here. Okay? I don't need you. I said to him, I was like, Dan, I call him Dan. Dan, I don't need you to be my president. I need you like I need a hole in the head. Bad analogy, I'll move on. <laughs> Think about it, one last example. A movie about Steve Jobs, American tech giant, right? Who did they cast? Michael, Michael Fassbender. Where's he from, Peoria? No, uh, Sarah's, no, Germany. Come on, guys, wake up. They're literally taking our jobs. <laughs> supposed to be the arc of my whole thing. Whatever. <laughs> ah, there it is. Only when I beg for it do I get it. There it is, all right. Here's another thing about the Brits. You guys heard about the show on Netflix called The Great British Bake Off or some shit like that, right? Okay, really? I don't understand the title, first of all. Is it Great Britain's baking show because they're from Great Britain or because they think that they're great at baking, which they're not, their food is horrible. I don't know if you've ever been to England, but their food sucks. Uh, it's been like that for the past uh, thousand years, I think so, right? And we all know this. Everyone in the world rags on the British because their food is trash. For the past 300 years, they've conquered a fourth of the entire planet for spices, did not use a single goddamn one in their meals. <laughs> Have you seen what British people eat? It's like they're doomsday preppers. No spices. Do you guys know, even know what an English breakfast is? Sounds nice. What English breakfast actually is, is, oi, it's baked beans, and I'm gonna have some blood sausage. Excuse me, what? Did you, did you just say blood sausage? Seriously, yeah, it's delicious. It sounds like a Lorena Bobbitt headline. Not for me, I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. Why, why are we giving this to the Brits? What happened to American cooking, American baking, right? I know what you guys are thinking, oh, this guy, he kind of sounds like a MAGA Republican, all Trumpy up here talking about the immigrants, right? <laughs> it's not that case. Look, I'm just making jokes. The Mexicans, however, are a problem. <laughs> but they're spices. They get a pass. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> we need American baking shows back. So I'm going to run for president in 2024. My slogan, make America bake again. <laughs> it's about goddamn time. I'm Phobia Drone. Y'all have a great night. <laughs>